Everybody knows the dice are loaded. Everybody knows the good guys lost. I can't even remember. I got I you know what I loved Leonard Cohen. And I think if you guys tell me you want me to, I may do some Leonard Cohen uh covers because I can sing in a nice low voice. I can. It's been a long time since I've sang, though I don't know if I could do it right. Anyway, welcome to another episode of the Albino Round Beer Review. We have this. It's Chekvar Dark. Uh, Chekvar Budvar. Uh, in Europe, it's Budvar. In North America, it's Chekvar. Uh, Budvar Budweiser. Um, the original Budweiser. But the dark version. Probably shouldn't say that. Amheiser Bush might get angry about that, right? Who fucking cares? Uh, so this is the dark version of Ch of Chekvar. It's a dark lager. What do we have? Product of Czech Republic. A B Dark is on there on the front. Uh, what do we have? Serve cold. It's not cold. I'm sorry. I don't listen to that. Uh, dark lager. Ingredients: water, barley malt, hops, and yeast with barley malt uh, bolded so that you know it's a allergen. Uh, where's the ABV on here? Is this a green bottle? Shit, it fucking is a green bottle. I thought it was a dark bottle. I thought I, I got all excited. I'm like, hey, it's not going to be skunky. Because I thought I had a dark bottle. But I forgot that it's a fucking dark beer inside it. I am an idiot. It's 4.7% alcohol, so it's even a low alcohol percentage beer in a green bottle. Hopefully it's not very hoppy, though, and we're okay. Uh, because the LCBO had this. And... Even though the LCBO is the only place I can buy my beer from, we all know their track record with things. Oh, it's just a clear gold cap. I can't put that on the fridge. I can't put that on... Just make sure there's none of this foil around the mouth. And, uh, let's do this, shall we? Oh, it's a green bottle. I hate green bottles and clear bottles. Even a clear bottle would throw me off because it was... It was filled right up to the foil, so it was only when it was being held at that proper angle that I noticed that it wasn't a green bottle. Well, it wasn't a brown bottle. I thought it was a brown bottle the whole time. And then I just had it at that one angle, and I could see just that the tiny bit of the air bubble, and I was like, oh. Ah, uh, Europeans and their green bottles. Europeans and their green bottles. Uh, black. Black. Brown head. Mocha head. There is a snap crackle pop to it, though. How did you get yourself in a bag? Uh, a little bit of chocolate and a tiny touch of coffee is really all I'm smelling on this. Uh... Not a bad smelling beer, to be honest. Uh, I I expected skunk out of my out of my gourd, but I do notice that for the most part it is the lighter colored beers and the and of course the higher the higher the hop content, the more it'll skunk and the faster it'll skunk. But also I've noticed that the lighter the color and the lower the ABV, the faster it skunks. Uh, we we did a test uh, one time at, at a certain educational place. Yeah, uh, well, maybe I'll do a video of that. Maybe we'll do the, the test again. Um, there we go. A full pint. A full pint in the glass. A full pint in the glass. Let's drink the beer. Yeah! Cheers. I've only had Czech Bar and then Czech Bar Dark, but this is by far my favorite Czech Bar beer, my favorite Bud Bar beer. That being said, this reminds me very much of a cask ale. It is very, very subtle. The carbonation is subtle. It's very creamy. It's very smooth. It covers your mouth. Uh, this is an intriguing mouthfeel. This is an intriguing beer.
little bit of coffee notes, tiny touch of, of molasses, tiny touch of molasses, little coffee notes, and a tobacco note. This, uh, this kind of has that tobacco note that, uh, that some scotches have. It's just that the, it plays around the back of the palate. This is by far, by far, a better beer than uh, than Budvar Lager that I've had. Uh, well, I should say Czechvar, Czechvar Lager. For me, at least, this is much, much better than that. Now, this kind of reminds me of a few days ago. I had Cheetah, a Cheetah Dark, while I was at uh, Mokshaw Indian Bistro here in Niagara Falls, and uh, the Mokshaw Dark, I did not. Uh, sorry, the Mokshaw Dark, the Cheetah Dark, I wasn't a fan of. But this reminds me of it. But I'm a fan of this. It's not quite as sweet. It doesn't quite have as much molasses taste to it. This actually tastes less like a macro than the than the Cheetah Dark did. Um, I'm noticing something right now. I'm looking at my hands as I'm talking, and I really am talking with my hand. Hopefully they're far enough ahead of me that you can't see them, because I'm still doing it, even though I'm saying I'm doing it and I don't like it. My wife makes fun of me for talking with my hands. And I... I yeah. Let's... let's yeah, there is... So, dark, dark chocolate, molasses, a little bit of coffee, a little bit of tobacco. That coffee and tobacco do mix together for something I don't particularly like right on the end of the palate, but that stays for about a second and then it's gone. It's not overly sweet, it's not overly bitter, it's actually a very easy drinking beer. If you're afraid of dark beers, this is a dark beer you could probably drink. If you love dark beers, this is still a dark beer you could probably drink. Uh, it, it is bigger than your average craft brewery, yes, but does that matter? No, the beer speaks for itself. This this check of our dark is a good beer. It's a good beer. There's nothing wrong with it. There's no faults to it. It's room temperature, and I can drink it without any problems. Uh, I, I have nothing wrong with this beer. It's low ABV, so I could drink a bunch of them. The mouthfeel is fantastic. The flavor is worthwhile and good. Uh, the look is fine. I, I just don't like the green bottle. That's really my only com my only thing. And uh, in all honesty, who cares? It tastes fine. Uh, out of 10 on this, I would give this a 7.5. I would buy it again. Uh, I might actually buy it again. I was excited when I first saw this in February in the LCBO's... Uh, their Valentine's Day pack, and I was like, ooh, I kind of want that, but I'm not going to pay 55 bucks when the only beer I want in it is the Czech Var Dark. Uh, well, the other beers in it was frying food too, but as most of you know, my beer allowance mostly goes to beers I haven't had. And uh, then it was on the LCBO's uh, ordering site on its own, so I, I jumped on it. I don't know if this is from the same time period, because its best before date is the 20th of December 2017. So, I mean, it could be from the same shipment that uh, brought that stuff, because these beers are usually good for at least a year. So this probably came into the country in, in December, uh, maybe or January, and then was put in the February box and had a bunch of extras, so they put it on the, on the website. Or it was brought in afterwards and just sat in the warehouse until they realized, oh, look, we have some boxes of Czech Var Dark. Uh, is it worth buying? Yes. Is it worth drinking? Sure. Uh, should you try it? You should try everything I review regardless if I give it a 0 or a 10 because your opinion might be different than mine. Your flavor paradigms might be, might, be, might be different than mine. So let me know what you think. Talk to me. Say hi. Whatever. If I don't respond to you right away, don't don't feel bad. I do, uh, I do get back to pretty much every single comment, though sometimes it takes me up to a week to do it. I usually do them all on one day. I usually pick one day a week and I go through everything that I've gotten in that week and respond to them. Uh, because I found that responding to them as they come is just too time consuming. Uh, but yeah, as long as, uh, as long as it wasn't something moronically dumb, like, uh, you're a fucking blind albino, yeah, you're gonna get a response. <clears throat> and if you're right, though, you're a fucking dumb albino, you might get a response from Lee. Cheers, guys! Check bar dark. Uh, I, I always have my customary, well, I don't always, I used to always have my customary chug, I haven't been doing it lately, but, uh, I think this beer deserves a customary chug. Cheers!
Bye-bye.